I'm going to talk about hypoxia and aviation today. And I was able to go to the oxygen chamber at CAMI at Oklahoma City. And this here is a worksheet that I filled out while in that environment at about 26,000 feet for approximately four minutes off oxygen. You can see my symptoms changed from one, two, three, and four minutes and how my oxygen saturation changed as well during that time, after which I put on my mask. Um, and now I'm gonna show you inside the chamber. This is what it looks like. It's a free experience that you can sign up through the FAA's website. Even something simple as signing your name. You can see my name was signed at the top of this paper. And then after four minutes, right before I put on my mask, my signature has really deteriorated. Going back to the actual chamber flight, this is what the chamber looks like. We have a student here who has been in the chamber for a little over three minutes, approaching four minutes, and recording sim symptoms that he's feeling of hypoxia. And it gets really interesting at about the four minute mark and now into the five minute mark. He is really starting to lose control and is being told here to put his oxygen mask on. Notice how slow he's trying to move to get the mask, some trembling of his extremities, and the instructor actually has to assist him in putting the mask on to really prevent him from passing out, you can see. And then after only a few minutes on oxygen, it's uh, quite amazing to see his really rapid recovery from hypoxia right here as he regains his consciousness. Um, so the antidote for any hypoxia in aviation is to put that oxygen mask on. I'll take some slow, deep breaths, make sure you don't hyperventilate. But he's right away, almost back to normal right away, and is about to give a thumbs up to the instructor indicating that he's, that he's back to normal. Now, hypoxia is particularly dangerous. It affects people in a lot of different ways. Attending one of these training sessions from the FAA is an excellent way to understand your own symptoms of hypoxia in a controlled environment. And that way, you are also able to experience some other special things like a rapid decompression. So in this uh, scenario, the chamber has been set up at about 8,000 feet pressure altitude. And as you see this cabin fill with mist, the rapid decompression has just occurred. The cabin has now gone from 8,000 feet to about 27,000 feet. If you look at there's a rubber glove hanging up in the ceiling, it inflated as, it, uh, as the cabin depressurized um, because all that pressure changed right in that cabin. And so I really encourage pilots to go to CAMI in Oklahoma City. You can find information at the FAA's website and sign up for a course. It's a free course. It's about a six to eight hour training event. It's really a great way to enhance your skills as a pilot and learn more about your responses to hypoxia and how to use oxygen systems.